I'll give you an activity. You must have heard that story. You know that is a very famous and very popular story, the mouse and the lion story. One lion is sleeping in the forest, and the a little mouse came. The lion said, uh, "You did not do this because I don't like you. If I will do, then I will chew in you." Hi, Tejasmita. Hi, madam. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm pretty well. How about you? I'm also doing great. Tell me about yourself. My name is Tejasmita. And uh, everyone call me Teju. I have done my graduation in Artist Mahavidya Lepuri, and uh, I'm married. My hobbies are playing and dancing, cooking, and the Zumba dance. Okay, you like and, to do uh, Zumba. You like to do Zumba dance. Yes. Okay. I'm fond of that one. Okay. Are you a Zumba trainer? Not trainer, but I like to do. When I get free time, then I do. Okay. Tejasmita, your name is Tejasmita, no? You can call me Teju. Teju, okay. Teju, why do you want to learn English? Ah, uh, because as you know, English is global language nowadays. It is a uh, key power personal development, and every sector we need English language. If we want talk about our child, ah, uh, lecture like actually my both our kids are studying CBSE English medium school. They have need language learning at the English only, and uh, also I can communicate because it's my hobby language. So both your children are studying in CBSE schools. That is why they need English. They need to be fluent in English, right? Yes, ma'am. Definitely, it's need. So you are a homemaker, or you are doing a job somewhere? No, no, I am homemaker only. I take care of my child. You take care of your children. You have two children, right? Yes. So instead of saying I take care of my child, you should say I take care of my children because you take care of both of them, no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ah, uh, tell me how old are your children? My son is now ten years old, and my daughter is now four years old. Your son is ten years old, and your daughter is seven years old. Four years old. Four years old. Okay. Your daughter is four years old, and son is ten years old. So does your son yes, bully your daughter? Sorry, ma'am. Does your son bully your daughter because he is older? Yes. He does. Yes, ma'am. So, do you scold him? Ah, uh, no, no. I treat them politely and how they good human being in future. Because today child is future human being. If he now present, he will handle very well. Then automatically they will be good human being. And uh, mostly, I I was trying so much job because of them. I left all that, but now focus on my child. Okay. You were doing uh, a job children. earlier. Now you are focusing on your children, and today's children yes. are tomorrow's adults. So that is why you treat them very nicely, so that they become good human beings. That's great. So which was the job that you were doing earlier? Ah, uh, because I completed my ah uh, sorry BA, but not uh, completed that all that semester. Ah, uh, because my child that time was very small. I look up. I took look after them. That's the reason I didn't go anywhere to do anything. But uh, I tried to corporate sector at the home, uh, in IT sector. Um, but because of my husband denied me, and uh, we both had decided we uh, look after our children so very well. That's the reason I stay at the home, and uh, child is everything for us. Okay, you were doing B. Ed. earlier, but you were not able to take care of your children. Then you and your husband discussed about it, and you both decided that you should take care of the children, and he should go out and earn money, right? Okay, but now your kids are a bit older. Your son is ten years old, and daughter is four years old. So, would you like to go out and do a job now? Ah, uh, no, no. My husband denied. Okay, your husband doesn't allow you to do a job, right? Yes. Yes. So, do you sometimes feel that your education is going waste? Your talent no, no, is going no. waste. Because, ah, uh, in my point of view, home is also one corporate or a big company. If you manage very well, then also we can company manage very well. Okay. According to your point of view, if you are managing your home very effectively, then also you are doing a very good job because home management is also not so easy, right? Right, ma'am. Actually. Uh, my uh, husband also going to outside to earn money. Also, I have to take care of them, and both are all are smoothly going happen very well. By God bless. What does he do? Ah, uh, I have own hospital means cleaning. 
small type of cleaning and medicine store my husband manages all the things okay your husband is managing everything he has a medical store yes and it is doing very well yes that's great your husband has weekly off on saturdays or sundays no no at the medical sector no one is uh, holiday okay there All is day running out he goes to the medical store 7 days a week right yes ma'am okay so do your children complain that our papa never stays home no no my husband always come to at the night after finishing that duties what time does he come back uh, sorry what time does he come back home uh i think ma'am actually when he returning then we all are sitting together eating food and spend quality time each other and uh, hari ram hari krishna maha mantra we listen all are then going past very well then sleep together okay. we are happy now when he comes back you all spend quality time with each other you talk to each other then you eat dinner together you chant mantras and you are very happy with each other but i am asking what time Does he come back home? कितने बजे घर आते हैं? Nine thirty, ten o'clock like this. Okay. When my husband uh, will come, then my uh, children waiting for him. When father will come, then we are eating together. Okay. Your children don't sleep before he comes. They always keep waiting for their father to come, and they eat food with him only. Your children keep waiting for him. They don't eat before he comes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Affection and love. Hmm. Affection and love. Okay, okay, that's great. Do they have Saturday Sunday off? Your children? Ah, uh, not Saturday. Only Sunday. Okay, only Sunday off. So, what do you all do on Sundays? Because your husband is at the medical store, and your children have off. So, you and your children are at home. So, what do you do on Sundays? Ah, uh, at the Sunday we did lot of work like extra curricular activities like a uh, morning time exercise, then meditation, yoga. After that, eating breakfast, then doing some homework like uh, book related. After that, uh, both are uh, uh, dancing, playing, and a drawing also. Okay, so here we should use present indefinite tense instead of ing. So you should say on on Sunday mornings we all do yoga, we exercise, we all eat breakfast, then uh, they dance and enjoy with each other. So don't put ing with this. Okay. because this is a regular thing which happens on sundays okay ma'am okay uh, so do you use any app to enhance your english yes ma'am i installed talk now and hello talk as fluency application so you uh, you make audio calls with co learners no uh, sorry i could not understand do you talk to co learners yes okay so do you ever do some activities with them yes i am also reading book like uh, automatic habits and uh, sometimes i listening uh, when i making both that time i listening and i making both are wrong i listen to english content when i cook food i making is I wrong cook. and i listening is wrong i listen to i listen to english content when i make food or when i cook food right you keep listening to english content when you do your household chores no yes ma'am okay did you watch my videos yes ma'am many times okay So when did you start watching my channel? Uh, four month ago. Okay. For last four months, you have been watching my channel. So are you watching conversational videos? Yes, ma'am. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, you enjoyed a lot. So what did you like about my videos? Ah, uh, actually, your uh, like she, all the people are saying whatever the grammar mistake you correct them. So I like that part. Okay, so you like that part where I correct their mistakes, I rectify their mistakes. Okay. Everyone uh, should learning everything to every person. So, do you have any uh, English environment around you? I mean, in your neighborhood? No, no, I don't have any English environment. Only I conversation with my children and reading and listening. So you only have conversations with your children. Your children speak English well? Ah, uh, not little bit, but they can speak Hindi very well. Okay, so when you talk to co learners on talk now and East fluency, do you get nervous? No, no, because of that audio call, I couldn't see. Ah, uh, means other people. I can speak English very well, but uh, as a video call, I feel ah uh, nervous. Okay, on audio call, since you can't see the other person, 
you are not seeing their faces that is why you don't get nervous but on video calls you feel nervous right mm -hmm. so uh, is it your first video call yes ma'am okay that's great first camera test first time i camera test like okay first time you are facing the camera and doing a video call in english that's great you should keep doing video sessions so that your nervousness goes away right okay yeah. i will try definitely yeah you can take a paid subscription of ace fluency where you can get connected to tutors they will give you video sessions uh, have you seen my uh, recent videos in which i talk about sparky app sparky yes, app yeah. artificial intelligence tools right, i knew right. that but uh, let's see what happened by god this so this ai app can you know talk to you all the time and you can practice so much and it doesn't judge you it doesn't laugh at you okay i give you an activity uh, you must have heard that story you know that is a very famous and very popular story the mouse and the lion story you know no yes sir i want you to tell me that story in your own words so that is your activity and wherever you will make mistakes i will correct them okay uh, first uh, i would say one lion is sleeping in the forest and uh, a little mouse came and uh, wants to jump in on the their tails and on the back to the lion but that time lion slipped and suddenly uh, lion saw a little mouse uh, jumping on her uh, back so that time uh, the lion said uh you did not do this because i don't like you if i will do then i will chewing you so that time uh, mouse scared and uh, he ran away then said uh, please forgive me then uh, you let me go then i will help you sometimes then uh, lion said okay you go then days passed out after that one hunter came in the jungle and uh, uh, they spreading uh, some mats for lions so mat lion when come to the road then he uh, fall down that uh, mat uh, meanwhile all the animals are saying but no one is helping the lion but at uh, that time the little mouse came and it caught the all the ropes that teeth uh, then uh, lion escape that uh, uh, hunters mat uh, from there so they are uh, that day both had a very good fate uh, and its moral story is all the a little bit uh, like little things also uh, in future it's a helping me all means big helping yes very good very good so you spoke well i would correct a few mistakes there was one mistake that uh, uh, you were sometimes speaking in present indefinite sometimes in past indefinite so we can use only one tense so either use present tense or use past tense so we can say like a lion is sleeping a mouse comes so when we are speaking in present tense then we have to keep it present tense throughout the story so okay. i will use the past tense you can use any of them i will use the past tense to narrate the same story there was a lion once upon a time there was a lion and a mouse in a jungle the lion was sleeping a mouse came and started jumping on its back on the lion's back the lion suddenly woke up and shouted at the mouse he said i would eat you and the uh, mouse got scared and started uh, you know apologizing please forgive me please forgive me i would never you know trouble you again so the lion said he was letting him go but he thought that it could never help him days went by one day the lion got stuck in a hunter's net and the lion was you know screaming for help nobody came to his rescue but the uh, mouse went and he cut the whole net with its teeth and the lion became free the lion was so 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 thankful to the mouse he said yes you really saved me and they became good friends after that so the moral of the story is we should never judge anyone by their size it doesn't matter if they are small or big they could be of help to us you also spoke very well but just take care of the tense yeah. okay yeah do you have any questions for me whenever i did my improve my english actually uh, as your opinion what i will do uh, so that i will improve my english very well okay so you want to know what you should do to improve your english fluency right you should read every day for at least 15 20 minutes 
and listen to english content if you are listening to english content for 1 hour then you have to speak in english for 1 hour listening and speaking should be equal if you are just listening and not speaking then it is very difficult to become fluent in english because speaking is what makes you fluent in english do speaking practice on these apps every day and uh, you can approach the youtubers and you can talk to yourself also like in the morning you can say i am getting ready i woke up today at this time you talk to your children you talk to yourself and uh, speak on these apps do at least two three sessions on ace fluency and talk now app every day and actually i am doing that one but uh, i am not uh, attending any video section okay that is very important you need to attend some video sessions also because that is that will help you overcome your nervousness today morning time i set my mind every day one hour i should uh, read and a one hour talking and two hours listening yeah that will also work that okay. is also very good yeah Some keep at least one hour start, of speaking practice yeah. i will start from today 30 days challenge oh that's great because oh. i am very curious yeah. how to uh, english communication i am very correct, interested correct. doing that yeah it is also so, crucial point <laughs> if you keep challenging yourself then you will definitely be able to do this we should keep challenging ourselves then after 30 days i think there will be a lot of difference in 30 days so good luck for your 30 days challenge i hope you become quite fluent by the end of this challenge and uh, it was a lovely session you spoke really well okay then appreciate me thank you so much you're welcome and bye bye have a great day bye